Hello everyone, I'm Ziqing Yang from iFly Tech Research. Today I'm going to present our work, Adversarial Training for Machine Reading Comprehension with Virtual Embeddings. As we know, adversarial training is a general regularization method that can improve models' robustness and generalization performance. In practice, adversarial training first calculates the perturbations then add them to the inputs to construct new training examples. In NLP tasks, the perturbations are usually added to the word vectors. However, this approach ignores the semantic meaning of words, as each word vector is perturbed independently. For example, in this passage and question, the perturbations added to each word rock are different, ignoring the fact that they share the same meaning of the word rock. In this work, we adapt AT for machine reading comprehension tasks by proposing an adversarial training method called PQAT, which considers the semantic meaning of words and differentiates the words from passages and questions. To achieve this, PQAT uses virtual PQ embeddings to gather and generate perturbations for each word from passages and questions. For example, in PQAT, all the rocks in the passages will receive the same perturbation, and all the rocks in the questions will receive a different perturbation. Lastly, as we will show, the PQAT method outperforms the standard AT on both normal datasets and adversarial datasets. To begin with, let's recap the standard adversarial training. In the standard AT, for each step, we first find the perturbation delta that is added to the input and maximizes the current loss under certain constraints. In NLP tasks, the perturbation is added to the word vectors, which is the output of the embedding layer. Then we minimize the loss on the new adversarial input, which is the sum of the original input and the perturbations. To adapt standard adversarial training method for MRC tasks, we propose PQAT. We create two embedding metrics P and Q. They are used for providing and collecting perturbations. Specifically, in a forward propagation, each passage word obtains its perturbation by looking up the P embeddings, and each question word obtains its perturbation by looking up the Q embeddings. In the backward propagation, P and Q embeddings collect and store new perturbations for word in passages and questions. Note that P and Q are virtual in the sense that they store only perturbations, not the usual embeddings. Here is a comparison of standard AT and PQAT. In the standard AT, the perturbations are added to the word vectors, thus different, thus different occurrences of the same word may receive different perturbations, while in PQAT, the perturbations are added to the virtual embedding matrix. Different occurrences of the same word receive same perturbations from the P embeddings or Q embeddings. This is the complete algorithm of the adversarial training for MRC. This algorithm combines both AT and PQAT. For each batch, we first initialize perturbations and virtual embeddings, and then perform case step gradient descent. We look up the standard word vector from the embedding layer and look up the PQ embedding vectors from the PQ embedding matrix. We sum them with the local perturbations delta. Then we perform forward and backward propagation to get the gradients. With the gradients, we update PQ embedding matrix and the delta. We test our method on a range of MRC tasks, including span extraction task multiple choice task and adversarial datasets. We built the MRC model with robot, following the standard MRC model structure. The overall results show that PQAT is able to boost model performance across all MRC tasks and outperform the robot baseline significantly. The universal improvements prove the wide applicability of PQAT. Here we compare different adversarial training methods by tuning their perturbation strengths. 
by setting epsilon p and epsilon q to zero, we recover standard at. From the table, we can see that pqat consistently outperforms standard at on the three tasks. Then we enable both pqat and standard at by setting all the strengths epsilon p, epsilon q, and epsilon delta to non-zero values. However, this is not always beneficial. The performance gets slightly better on squad 1 and the race, but gets worse on squad 2. Next, we assess the robustness of the model on 8 cent and at 1 cent. With the standard adversarial training, the model improves its robustness by about 5% over robot base. PQAT further improves the performance over AT by about 1%. To summarize, in this work, we have proposed a novel adversarial training method, PQAT, for MRC tasks. It uses virtual embeddings to collect and generate perturbations for passages and questions separately. It improves the mode performance universally. We hope it would inspire people to design more effective novel adversarial training methods. Thank you for your attention.